Assalamu alaikum students, uh, welcome back to the video. So in this video, we're going to be discussing about historians and Mahmud of Ghazni. So in this particular topic, see, I in the classroom, I also try to explain you this thing that uh, over here, we are only going to study about the perspectives, the opinions of different historians about Mahmud of Ghazni. Some were positive, some were negative. I have highlighted for them for you the main ones that are very very you know easy to keep in mind uh, so the one are highlighted in uh, the yellows they are the kind of one thing and the one is highlighted in the green they are very something very similar to each other so so the one which are highlighted in the yellow are actually a little bit against Mahmud of Ghazni so some historians said that uh, the Mahmud of Ghazni did nothing but destroy uh, destroy they destroyed palaces okay uh, and Hindu temples and took away the riches of India uh, yet other historians say that the reasons for his invasion okay and the, and uh, the same historians also said this thing the reasons for his invasions of India was to take its wealth and to use it up uh, uh, set uh, use a uh, use it to set up an empire in Central Asia so this particular narrative of people was actually against Mahmud of Ghazni right now, what was in the favor? The favor one is in marked in the green. For example, some historians say said that Mahmud was a brave general, uh, a great ruler and politician who laid the foundations of a large empire in Central Asia, while some write that the aim of the conquest was to spread Islam. So, there's a pretty much, you know, very similarities in both of them. But this is the only the main thing that you have to keep in mind. Well, they are also discussing about... Uh, uh, Indian historian Rum uh, Rumaila, uh, Rumila, Rumaila uh, Tapper, an Indian historian, uh, she kind of proved a couple of things over there as well. So you can read out in the very first uh, uh, part of this uh, particular topic in this first paragraph. However, very easy uh, to keep in mind. So there are two narratives you have to keep in mind, the one marked in the yellow and the one marked in the green. All right. So I hope it's pretty clear. There's not much to you know explain in this one. Just wanted to make some points for you that you can understand. Uh, that how the things were actually working back in the time and what were the opinions of the historians uh, related to Mahmud of Ghazni. So that's pretty much it and see you in the next topic which is Al-Biruni. Thank you so much.